generally speaking, it's a good idea to buy a vehicle used versus new because you lose so much once you drive it off a lot in terms of depreciation and resale value. But it can be a little risky as well because you don't know about the reliability of that vehicle, how hard it's been driven, how much time you'll spend in the shop with maintenance. Here are a handful of vehicles you want to avoid buying used if you want something reliable and long-term. First off, and surprisingly, the 2019 RAV4 makes the list of cars to steer clear of when buying used. Here's the deal, and here's why. The transmission in this model has been a big issue for owners. While the car being relatively new, it's expected that more issues and complaints will pop up over time. Our friends over at Consumer Reports give it a disappointing 2 out of 5 in reliability. So even though it's tempting to go for a used RAV4, especially one from 2019, thinking twice might save you some headaches down the road. The 2020 Nissan Frontier comes with a 310 horsepower V6, giving you a decent push on the accelerator and a smooth ride on bumpy roads. But don't let that fool you. The truck's interior Feels like it's stuck in the past, filled with noise from the road and wind. It's also missing a lot of useful driver assistance technology, offering just a basic rear view camera and optional rear parking sensors. Its ability to tow and haul also lags behind its competitors with a towing capacity under 7,000 pounds. Despite adding Apple CarPlay and Android Auto in 2020 and having a powerful V6, the Tundra falls short in important areas. It's thirsty at the gas pump has the worst fuel economy in its class at just 14 miles per gallon combined, and its towing capacity doesn't stack up against its rivals. Inside, it does feel outdated with a design and material that doesn't reflect its price tag. The 2020 Sequoia might tempt you with its large cabin and powerful V8, but don't let that sway you. This SUV's high cost of ownership, outdated interior, Filled with hard plastics and terrible fuel economy, again, just 14 miles per gallon combined make it a less than ideal choice, especially used. With the lowest towing rating in its class of 7,400 pounds max, there are definitely some better options out there if you're looking to haul anything heavy. The Honda Civic has a reputation for reliability, well earned, but the 2015 hybrid model is an exception. Its cramped back seat and small trunk space due to the hybrid battery make it hard to like. The biggest red flag is the faulty ABS control module, a critical safety feature that's pretty expensive to replace. No one wants to be shocked with a bill of almost $1,500 as a result. This issue alone can negate any savings if you buy this one used. While the 2020 Mitsubishi Outlander Sport might catch your eye with its large cargo area and fancy infotainment, it's not all that it's cracked up to be. The ride is a bit uncomfortable, so be prepared to feel all the bumps and ruts. Both engine options lack the oomph for confident passing, and they can get pretty noisy under stress. Inside, the cabin's design and materials also feel a little cheap. The 2016 Jeep Cherokee's cargo space is less than what its competitors offer, and the base engine struggles to give engaging performance. One of the biggest issues is the fuel level sending unit's tendency to fail, a repair that can cost over $1,000 and lead to more serious engine problems. The 2013 Nissan Altima might promise fuel efficiency with its CVT, but that comes with its own set of problems. Numerous complaints about the transmission have surfaced, making it a risky bet for reliability. Consumer Reports' low satisfaction rating for this model, 1 of 5, should be a huge red flag as well. If you're considering an Altima, it's best to look at other model years or a different vehicle altogether. The 2020 Dodge Grand Caravan marked the end of an era for this iconic minivan. It has its perks, like the innovative stow-and-go seats, but overall, it falls short of modern expectations. The list of standard features is meager compared to rivals, and the ride quality is firmer than one would prefer for a family hauler. The limited driver aids with only a rear-view camera to offer make it less appealing in today's safety-conscious market. The 2019 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross brings some positives to the table, like comfy seats, good fuel economy, but the drawbacks quickly overshadow those perks. The engine's noisy, especially when you push it, and has 22.6 cubic feet of cargo space just doesn't cut it compared to rivals. The infotainment system's lack of physical controls can be a headache. With a low score of 2.5 out of 5 for predicted reliability, this Eclipse Cross might have you second-guessing that initial attraction. There are definitely smoother rides out there with fewer quirks. If and when you're ready to shop for a new or used vehicle like one of these, check out quotes.everymandriver.com. There's also a link below this video for the best deals being offered in your area from qualified dealerships. 
Get insider access to dealer pricing. Negotiate your next car deal today by going to quotes.everymandriver.com. If you don't find what you're looking for in your zip code, simply expand the zip code. Be willing to travel a few miles to save a few hundred, possibly a few thousand dollars on a new or used vehicle by visiting quotes.everymandriver.com. If you were born between 1995 and 2015, congratulations, you are a member of Generation Z. Between 1980 and 1994, you are a millennial. Between 1965 and 1979, which is me, Generation X, and those born between 1944 and 1964, you probably know this, you're a baby boomer. Today, seven of the most affordable and reliable rides for 2024, all priced under 30 grand, best for those on a fixed income, like the baby boomers, but this works for anybody. At number seven, the Hyundai Elantra, base MSRP price in the low 20s, around 22 grand. Affordable and durable, the Elantra might have an uninspiring base engine, but who cares, right? But it makes up for it with high fuel economy, attractive technology, and a comfortable interior. Very affordable. Next up, the Honda CRV, base price right around 30 grand. You'll pay more for the CRV than others listed here, but if you're a baby boomer that loves the idea of driving a compact SUV with style, great visibility, a comfortable cabin, and a wide range of Honda safety features, it might be worth the extra dollars to pay for it. With a base price just over 20 grand, the Kia Soul is a fun, boxy vehicle, one of the best SUVs you can find. It has a spacious cabin, a great driver assist system, including lane keeping assist and adaptive cruise control. Great for someone on a fixed income. Even though car and driver doesn't like the Corolla's lack of excitement, as they call it, this sedan is ultra dependable, which is very important for almost anybody, and has a ton of standard safety driver assistance technologies, including automatic high beam and roadside assist. You can get one of these in the low 20s, right around 22 grand as the base price. All Subarus are known for the reliability and user-friendly design, but the Legacy is a popular choice for boomers who want a secure and easy-to-maneuver vehicle. Subaru's EyeSight Safety Tech is standard across the range with options such as blind spot monitor, rear cross traffic alert, and lane change assist to reduce the chance of any fender benders. You can get a base price legacy around 25 grand. The Honda Accord, right around $28,000 for your base MSRP with improved tech features including the ability to set temperatures with voice commands. You won't have to take your eyes off the road when driving this reliable and affordable mid-size sedan. You'll most likely get well over 200,000 miles on the odometer. This one too has a long-lasting engine, the Toyota Camry, base price around 27. It is simply one of the most reliable vehicles on the market. It's a great choice for boomers who will appreciate standard tech-focused features, automatic emergency braking with pedestrian and cyclist detection, blind spot warning, and rear cross traffic warning. If and when you are in the market for a new or used vehicle, regardless of your age, check out quotes.everymandriver.com for the best deals being offered in your zip code, insider access to dealer pricing. You can check out your make, model, and zip code. If you don't find what you're looking for in your zip code, simply expand this zip code. Be willing to travel a few miles, take a road trip. You could possibly save a hundred or thousands of dollars on a new or used vehicle in your area. That's quotes.everymandriver.com. There's also a link below this video. It's a free search engine. Today's video is brought to you in part by Ironman Darts. If you're looking to pick up a new and fun hobby that you can play at home or at the local pub, check out the Ironman Darts YouTube channel for simple and easy practice routines, lessons on how to throw darts, darts games for beginners, and real matches versus real people with both steel tip and soft tip darts. Click the link below and watch for free. And there it is. One final note, if you are in the market for a new vehicle soon, great. Connect with your local dealership and price and test drive at least three different vehicles. A vehicle's strengths and weaknesses can only be discovered when you are behind the wheel. My reviews can be good, but you need to test drive these yourself. Visit quotes.everymandriver.com, select the make model in your zip code, and you'll get invoice pricing in your area on those vehicles. Shop smarter with price quotes at quotes.everymandriver.com. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.